this is not Africa. You are helping the contact of the manager or anybody that is recruiting students for the jobs. I will help you in the comment section. Hey, love boys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Ratchet, the YouTuber. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, my name is Rachi and I am a YouTuber in North Cyprus. So on today's video, we're talking about jobs or working in North Cyprus. We're talking about the kind of jobs you can get, its availability and how much you can get paid per day or per hour. Please, before we proceed with the basic information, if you are yet to like this video, please like it because it's more like a ritual on this channel. We like our video before we proceed. Okay, after all those good stuff have been said and done, let's go to the details. First and foremost, um, if you are a new student coming to North Cyprus, I will advise you to come on the sponsorship, either from your parents or guidance because this island is really not easy for students to survive based on jobs or based on the activities they do because even from the jobs over here, the payment can be really, really low and discouraging. So you will need to have your guidance supporting you or your parents supporting you financially. So let's just go straight to the kind of jobs you can do. You can work in a restaurant, yes. You can either work as their cashier, you can work as a chef, you can work as a cleaner you can work as someone a waiter or waitress you can work in a restaurant yes another thing is for the guys you can work in maybe construction sites where they are building houses really houses or whatever they are building you can just be of support and with your support they pay you know in other western countries a very developed countries in most countries they pay per hour but over here in north cyprus it's very hard to get a job that will pay you genuinely per hour sometimes they'll say okay yes we pay per hour but they won't give you your payments per hour until the whole day is done then they'll put your money together and give it to you so when you want as a guy if you want to work in a construction job it's really really stressful imagine working from 6 a.m to like 5 p.m the whole day working and getting paid 100 till 150 till and because you are black or if if you are listening to me and you are black because of your black they just feel okay being a black person you have excess energy excess strength to work and overwork yourself that's the mentality these guys have the few we blacks we are super powers we have super powers or we are super beings so guys, the payments in construction sites are really, really low and it's very, very stressful. Then talking about beauty, if you can braid hair, this is a plus for you. If you can barb hair, this is a very good one for you. I've done a video before now that has to do with jobs and getting jobs, making money here in North Cyprus. I'll add the link over here. You could check it out and see what I said about making money here on the island. Another job you can do is farming job. Yes, you could do farming job on the island. And in case you are wondering, as a student, will you be allowed or will you need working permit to work in a farming job? No, you do not need working permit to work in a farming job. I'll add a link here to my orange farm job. Please watch it, like the video, and comment to ask your question. Yes, you can work in a farm. In some cases, you could pay, pay 200 TL per day, 250 TL per day. In some places, 150 TL per day, depending on the job or depending on what, whosoever is paying you. So let us proceed. There are other good jobs you can do. You could work in your school. For instance, if you are working in, if you are schooling in CI, you could work in the international relations office. You could work or help them in their social media. Just ask, keep on asking. And again, this particular job is really, really limited because many students want to work with the school because there are so many advantages working with the school and it's even more convenient and more conducive to work while you school in the same school. So it's really, really limited for anybody to be able to assess such jobs, but you can actually make application and by the grace of God, if your application gets granted, you could work in school. So let us proceed. Yes, you could sell skincare products for instance, products that you know cannot be found on the island. For instance, there's a lady that is my cosmate. She sells beauty products. She sells hair, that's the attachment and all those stuff. And she said this particular cream. They call it from Bat A. And from Bat, I can't remember when last I saw from Bat A. It was my junior secondary school. That could be like let me say ten years ago, if I'm not mistaken, or eight years ago, thereabouts. And 
this is ago. Yeah, there is ago. What am I saying? There is ago. And I, I saw it on the I was like, wow, we brought this over to sell. She said, yes, and this is very good. You sell things that are not available on the island. Another thing is money exchange. Okay, for instance, if you are somebody from Liberia, right? There are other beautiful and handsome Liberians on the island, but are yet to open like the bank accounts or are having issues getting funds. You could be doing the exchange business. They give you the currency they use in Liberia. Here they sometimes, I heard in Liberia they also use dollars in some cases. So imagine they give you dollars and you're giving them to you. This exchange business really pays. Just you think it's it's the little point, the little euro, the little dollars they're counting. You can do exchange of seven people, eight people in a day, you know what you have gained for yourself for the whole day. So you could do exchange business, you could change dollars to euros, euros to pounds, pounds, to to naira, and get good amount of money. Another good job that you could do is, you could also be somebody that cleans house. Like, they are, like the first time I came to the island, right, this place was actually a mess, and I couldn't just start from scratch, and I needed somebody to clean this place. Will you believe I paid this guy 300, 300, 300 CL, 300 CL to clean this place. As, I'm, as a new person, I really didn't know the worth of 300 CL, but now I know what 300 CL is. Then that was actually a very good one for just cleaning that me I can clean. So guys, even if you can do such job cleaning people's houses, getting their laundry done, you could get paid good amount of money, 200 CL, 250 CL, 300 CL or more depending on the location or depending on the house or how the place looks and that good one that you could do to support yourself or assist yourself while you are on the island is you could work with an agent yes you could work with these people that because the job for bringing new students every year is really really tedious so if you can work with an agent and help them with application of like helping them with the forms of new students or helping them bring new students if they could give you a certain percentage if that's if you get an agent that is transparent in such job they could give you a certain percentage percentage for doing that another one is delivery yes i said so for this delivery i think it's more 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 easy for people from iraq iran sudan to do especially when you are whitish or you are light skin me i'm like okay let me just say when you are when you are white yeah but even if you're not a turkish person but you are white i think that's the safest job for you for the fact that you have your driver's license from your home country and then you get your driver's license in this country then you can apply for such jobs because sometimes people sit at home and make all others like maybe i'm cooking and i need something urgent like i don't think i should step out or i'm planning to cook in an hour time and i need chicken i need sauce or something i'll just place the order online and it comes to me i did not know there was a thing like this just a few months ago then i realized yes you could order from the comfort of your home these people ordering these things most of them are even students so if you can you have good command of english language or you can speak Turkish language which is a plus for you then you can apply for such jobs mind you most of these jobs are limited to us because of language barrier yes some people have um have issues with communication so you neither need to know how to speak english or you know how to speak Turkish, yes. So because of language, sometimes they don't give these jobs to to Africans or to international students because of language barrier. And that good one is you could work in the hotel. I got a call a few weeks ago about a hotel job, but I was being picky about the whole thing. I wasn't really interested because they were not paying weekly, they were not paying daily, they were going to pay monthly. Yes, and it's not like it's actually a very tedious job because the job was in Makusa, right? And the good thing about this job is that they, they provided accommodation. So they'll be giving you accommodation and the good thing you also feed under their phone, so under their care. So imagine those good things at the end of the month. I heard okay, the payment was six thousand CL. Yes, they were going to pay me six thousand CL for a month. And that was actually sorry, that was actually a very good pay. But I just thought about the whole thing, you know, that really was great. You know, if I do such jobs, I take it so much of my time like that. I want to be filming. I want to be YouTube for us. So I really needed to back up from the whole plan. I said, okay, no, this is not what I will be doing. But it was like a one-week job and I'll be having like a day off, which was actually fair, not too bad. So, but I really didn't didn't buy the idea. So guys, if you're interested in jobs like this, I could even share the contact of all these available jobs. It's really the farm job, the hotel, the hotel job, the eatery job, the waitress job. I've seen so many job opportunities. You could ask for whichever you think that should be available on the island. I could help you with the contact of anybody or help you with the contact of 
the manager anybody that is recruiting students for the jobs i will help you in the comment section so guys another thing is you could help in all these and um, repairs like repairs of phones, repairs of laptop. You boys see this particular job, and let me say it's the one in one thousand you get because I saw a comment someone's asking me, is it possible that I could repair phones and laptops and cybers? This is not Africa. Some of us are very, very insecure. I'm too insecure to get me carry my laptop and give it to you. I said please repair. I, I don't feel that safe. There are other offices and places that do that, so some people won't feel really, really safe doing that for you or giving it to you and that good one is could also fix nails yes you could fix nails even if there are so many beauty shops that do the fixing of nails and do you fixing of nails in all the shops are really not expensive but it will be much for when your african sister your african brother will want to patronize you than going to a Turkish shop so that's actually a very good one for me i think i've actually passed the basic information about jobs slash working in north cyprus so guys please feel free to ask me any question in the comment section i will answer it and i'll be very transparent in the comment section but for further inquiries and sponsorship please send me an email at okoyefavor09 at gmail.com thank you guys for coming this far to my video please don't forget to like this video comment subscribe and put on the notification bell for whenever i post videos you get notified first before anybody bye guys it's your girl rachi the youtuber